guys welcome to this video today i'm going to be giving um some gameplay and oversight on how to get really good with stuffy flower because i think this is one of the most dominating plants in the entire game um has a really really good projectile speed fast rate of fire good at all ranges um again sunflower abilities are kind of broken as you'll see the solar flare beam which i'll be using a lot throughout this video it's a perfect accuracy laser, so I just got to share from that. Um, it has perfect projectile speed. Um, it has everything you'd want in ability. So first tip is use lots of solar flare beam in the right spot. Um, but the regular primary, uh, as you can see, the projectile speed is very fast. I got to share for that just now. Nice, very nice. Um, but you could you could steal lots of kills from people because you have a really fast rate of fire. It looks like I'm only getting shares right now. There's people not in my way. But um, again, this character can be played at all ranges. So all ranges, this character is great. You could be very aggressive. Um, I like running the damage upgrade, health upgrade, and I think I run speed. Um, the speed, in my opinion, pairs fantastically with all the sunflowers um, because sunflowers are regularly really fast and every step of getting that extra speed boost really does add up after a while. So I highly recommend running the speed upgrade with sunflowers. And of course the damage upgrade is really nice. And don't forget when you get lit on fire, I feel like everyone knows this by now, um, put down the heal flower and you'll stop the, the fire damage from happening. Oh, that guy's one tap right there. If I could jump up here, yeah, he's dead. So, so up close, you're doing like 12 for headshot. And as you can a solar beam right here. So I think that's cool about this spot I'm in right now is I could shoot through this right here, see? I could shoot right through here, but most of the time the zombies cannot shoot back at me or see me or ZPG me. So this right here is a really, really good spot to be in. And combine this with putting a heal flower behind you and you could pretty much shoot over this wall right here and the zombies can't shoot back at you. So it's it's kind of broken. Um, I'd highly recommend doing that. It's kind of toxic, but like it's part of the game, you know, if you want an advantage, you want to get good with the character. Uh, head head glitching is what it's called is a really really good thing to do so as you can see I did so much damage to that thing just now absolutely killed him again high rate of fire is really nice I remember I um, hop around a lot with the sunflower because like I said with the speed upgrade high DPS up close um, you're a very hard target to hit combined with having a self heal ability is kind of insane so as you can see I move around a lot when I play um, get used to it. I, it takes some practice to get good with movement, but um, take advantage of jumping off hills. As you can see, I just jumped off the staircase right here. Um, positioning is key, so um, definitely take advantage of that with the sunflower. I just need to find a good spot to do this. I guess we could do it right here. So you can put the heal flower down, go in your beam, and you could kind of shoot through the flower, and the flower will tank all the bullets most of the time um, from, from the... Uh, the, the, flower, the heal flower will tank all of the zombie bullets, so you could just kill people while getting healed, and then you, you don't have to worry about like ZPGs or anything. And again, you have literal perfect accuracy with this with this uh, solar flare beam. So I'd highly recommend just spamming the solar flare beam. I know it sounds stupid, but like it is Sunflower's best ability um, for kills. This is a competitive kill guide. Um, if you're by yourself, Solar Flare Beam is really helpful, but again, this primary is nothing to scoff at. It is one of the best primaries in the entire game. Uh, the reason I don't think the ammo and the reload upgrade aren't that are that important on this character is because you already have like 40 ammo, I'm pretty sure, or I might be 50 with the ammo upgrade, but like you already have so much ammo and like a fast reload to begin with. And you're doing so much damage to the point where like I don't really think it's necessary to have that extra ammo like it doesn't really change much with this character I'll put down the heal flower i'm on fire i would have died if i didn't have that heal flower again why this character is so oppressive is because um you could just heal yourself and then you have one of the one of the better primaries in the entire game the people that play this game are kind of awful all right let me show here so you want to get a high positional advantage against an all-star he can't imp hunt you he can't tackle you blah 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 um just to run for your life um, but again, having that high advantage point over an all-star is always really nice. Um, so when you go on the solar flare beam, you actually have a bit of armor resistance. So I was actually able to live that because the fire damage did less damage to me because I went into my solar flare beam. So if you get really low right there, like I showed, you could hop in your solar flare beam and you could sometimes, very rarely, 
um, live. So that guy's dead. Like, see, I, I lasered him. This all starts coming for me again. In scenarios like this, where you're waiting for your heal flower to go, just lay low. Um, you know, play. Don't play more defensively than offensively. Um, we're gonna get gravity grenades, so I'm just gonna put this down. Uh, candle is in Kata. Okay, cool. So as you saw, I just hopped away, and then I was able to get the kill. Just just because my movement was on point, I I could run away from a scientist. Like that's that's a big deal. So I'm gonna put on the heal flower here, and use my solar flare beam. You could pick some people off. So that all star is definitely gonna die. This, this paleontologist, yeah, you have no chance against this thing. Um, it's dead. Um, this scenario. Um, I'm gonna try to capture it again. Going for high kill games, you don't want to capture instantly. You want to wait till the very end, especially when you're on offense. All right, just move around a bit. Here comes the chemist. Okay, got my heal flower back. I'm gonna put it right here. Let's continue picking them off. The all star gets near us. We're just gonna take a step back. All right, things are getting a little rough now. Solar flare beam. Um, so the reason I'm solar flare beaming in like the middle of everyone is because I noticed that there was a stink cloud, and uh, I think most of these people can't see me. Oh, that is so annoying that that guy did that. So this character, like literally, as you saw, I just stole kills from people because of my fast rate of fire. Um, the character just kind of. Kind of just kills. It's, it, this is a killer character. Um, sunflowers, oh, there's a common misconception of YouTubers going like, oh, support your teammates with the sunflower. Yeah, you can do that, but you're not, you're not, that's not competitively like a good strat. So like this can be a great spot to show off solar flare beam. So there's a Captain Squawk standing still. I could just do that and he's going to die instantly. Like for, for characters like that, where it's just like this guy is standing still He's gonna die to this. Like you could just kind of use the solar flare beam and kill him. So I'm getting hit. I'm gonna back up, and then I'm gonna reposition, and I'm gonna put down a heal flower so I don't get hit by anything else. And then just play around your heal flower. Don't forget you could heal your heal flower. Like the heal flower heals itself with little sun drop pellets, but like um, definitely you could heal it, and it could, it could be helpful at times. But when the heal flower is where it is right now, see it's almost about to be done recharging, it actually despawns no matter what health it's at. It has a maximum time to live. So keep that in mind when you're playing the stuffy flower um, and all the other sunflowers actually. Um, because after a certain point, that heal flower is just gonna disappear. This right here is a great spot. Um, notice how I have, there's stuff right there, there's something right there, and then there's cover on this side. This could be a great spot for solar flare beam. You want to be in and out with this. You notice there is two soldiers over there, but again, like if you're over here more, the only people that can shoot you are all over here. And you, if you put the heal flower in front of you, like I said, um, you you're you're going to be able to get a lot of solar flare beam kills. There's another trick I really like to do um, out of out of a momentum jump, which if you watch my character tech video, you could jump off a cliff like that. And then you could kind of use the rooted abilities out of a jump, which can be very helpful in certain scenarios. Um, that wasn't really the best showcase of it, but I just wanted to show you guys. If you jump and use the uh, solar flare beam at the same time, you could kind of jump off a ledge and then um, use the solar flare beam as you do that. Um, that could, it, it could come in handy in a lot of different ways. You got a minute left. Um, but this is just like a basic guide, like... This isn't me going for a high kill game, obviously. Like, I only have, like, 65 kills. This round wasn't very long, but I wanted to give you guys some of the tips on how to play this character, because this character is broken. Um, especially the Solar Flare Beam. I can't put into words enough how busted this ability is. It's, it's so broken. The perfect accuracy, the DPS, it's, it's insane. This ability is insane. Like, like I, I, I could show it too. That's what's great. I could, I could show it. So that's fire character. Put down the heal flower. Chemist, you're gonna die. I have higher DPS than you. Marine biologist, I gotta back away from him. 
I'm gonna die. That wasn't smart of me. I should have jumped off. Alright, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope this guide helped you get better with the stuffy flower. Um, character's really good. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys learned some things. Tried to make it pretty easy for more casual players. Um, but it's a really good character, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna try to, I might start making more like variety content um, on like Smash Bros. PvZ is not going anywhere, but just to let you guys know, I might be making some Smash videos because I am getting a little burnt out on PvZ. But PvZ, I'm gonna keep making videos on. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye.